All right, what's up? What's up, guys? Hope you're having a great night. And let's just wait here for the IG for the famous gram. All right, guys, perfect. Welcome to another traffic training with Fabian. And today is a very, very special episode because Fabian is going to be going over the big blue beast, right? The big blue beast being Facebook. Uh, Fabian and I has, have spent millions of dollars use on Facebook advertisement in the past years, very profitably. And um, it's also very beginner friendly. The platform has, in, has improved a lot in the past years. Um, you know, it really helps you get a lot of sales. Like before it was a little bit more technical. It was like a more, I don't know. Now it's really good. It's like the best ever. So Fabian is going to teach you why you need to get into the big blue beast and uh, how you can get your cut. So without further ado, let me get Fabian here, the master, like always. What's up guys? Good evening. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much again for the beautiful introduction, Sebas. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let's do it. What's up guys? Uh, how you guys doing? My name again, Fabian Cordova. For those who don't know me, I just want to introduce me real quick. Uh, I've been doing Facebook ads for over five years. I've spent multiple seven figures and six figures running ads. And I, can, I know a little bit of ads, so hopefully you guys can take advantage of this you know, training. It's gonna be really uh, short, but at the same time, it's gonna be filled and packed with value, okay? So yesterday we were talking about, you know, what's the difference between paid advertisement or paid traffic and organic traffic, right? So today we're gonna be focusing why you should focus on Facebook, right? There's a lot of people out there that has, you know, tried before Facebook ads and probably they have failed or they have probably succeed, but everything has a sense of a reason. And for those who are watch, uh, watching and they haven't even launched their first Facebook ad, I'm gonna give you five solid reasons why you should basically take advantage of Facebook ads, okay? So I already like wrote some uh, stuff down here in the, in the whiteboard because I wanna be, as precise as possible so I don't make you waste my, the precious time you guys have. And number one, it's that Facebook, it's the biggest social media platform out there. And it has 1.7 billion of active users. So imagine if you can target half of that. It's a lot of people that you can actually target and this is basically, it's open to everyone. It's, it, it's you know, it's for, for, for grabbing, for, for grabbers. Like if you can do that, you can make a lot of money because that's basically what I've been doing, what Sebastian has been doing and what we all have been doing as a team to really focus on how can we, you know, hyper target to those specific audiences with our craft offers and see how can we profit from those. Uh, so that's reason number one, 1 1.7 billion active users. And just so you know, a little fact, over 74% of those 1.7 billion, they log in every single day. So there's no way that you can miss out on this great opportunity because it's just basically an ocean with fishes that you can basically pitch them, sell them, uh, help them, uh, sell them a service, sell them whatever you want. And it's basically out there. Really important, 1.7 billion people, guys. Really, really important. So number two, uh, there are different things that you can leverage. And let me just stand here real quick so you guys can see. You can leverage Instagram, this site. You can leverage Facebook, this site. I don't know if you guys know something about um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger. You can also leverage Facebook Messenger through ads. You can also uh, leverage WhatsApp, which is basically almost the newest acquisition from Facebook and other third party, uh, third -party applications and, and integrations that that's basically a little bit you know, further along whenever you're doing something different and new. Uh, I don't recommend it for starters, just really focus on Facebook, IG and Messenger. Those are the three ones that you should be really focusing on, but for starters on Facebook, number one, okay? So targeting, what happens with Facebook targeting, okay? There's a lot of people who, do, they actually don't know how to target. So this platform itself allows you to dig deep on basically three, uh, three things. Interests, which is basically every single like that you've done on Facebook that gets tracked through the AI. So basically every single click that you do on Facebook gets tracked so markers like us can be able to use those interests in order to target. For example, let's uh, talk about a few broad interests. For example, dogs, uh, it can be fitness, 
can be uh, automobile. So those are really broad interests. You can find that are people who are interested in those specific interests, right? So number two, behaviors. For example, what's a behavior? For example, someone that it's shopping online, someone that loves fashion items, someone that it's actually, for example, uh, focus in shopping, uh, people that are sp buying a specific uh, amount of money on Facebook, uh, per like a specific range of, of how much they spend on Facebook. You can target a lot of different behaviors that are out there. There are hundreds there. You can really go in there and go, uh, you know, segment, like go really smart with what you're doing and really look for those behaviors that are, are actually within your niche. You can find out and you can also use those for targeting. And one of the most important ones, demographics. Within demographics, you can know if someone is married, if someone is single, if someone has a specific number of people within their household. There are a lot of different things that you can use on their demographics, which is really important. For example, if you're targeting a specific type of ad, let's say someone that owns a baby, you for sure will know that they're married or they, or, or they actually are together. So just I'm just giving you really creative ideas on how to use the Facebook platform because the, the tools are out there. You can use these three types of targeting and basically that's how we um, got started and that's what people are still doing to make thousands, hundreds and thousands of dollars on Facebook every day, okay? So let's go to the other one. Custom audiences and lookalike audiences, okay? For, for those who haven't, uh, you know, ran any Facebook ads, you can create custom audiences on whatever you want, okay? So number one, you can create custom audiences from specific website events that you have. For example, if you have a, a Shopify store, you're gonna be able to use the Facebook pixel and the audiences to create, uh, for example, segments within all the, uh, all the, the, um, the funnel steps that you have in order to create this audiences. For example, you can track people who have, uh, who have um, you know, view content. You can also have people who have added to cart. You can also have people who have initiated checkout and even people who have purchased. So you can remarket specifically to those specific segments within your audience and show them a specific ad. For example, if someone who has uh, you know, bought from you uh, will have 10 times more willingness to buy from you again than someone who is actually the, who doesn't know you, right? So it's really important to, to know and understand that you can leverage this custom audiences in order to grow your business, okay? Another great, a great way to use custom audiences are for videos. So if you're creating videos and you're using videos through advertisement on Facebook, you can create specific segments of the percentage of people who have viewed that video. And then you can remark it based on your current strategy. Also something pretty cool is that you can create custom audiences from your fan page and Instagram business page. So you can target people who have uh, engage with your post. You can also create custom audiences of people who have saved your post or ad, or even people who have been engaging with your post or ads, which is really, really, really cool. Okay. So, uh, the look like audiences. Okay. Really important. So let me just go back to the basics. And for those who don't understand what a look like audience is, basically a uh, look alike from, let's say I have a list of, of clients that I know that they like dogs, for example. So I know that this, it's a really hot list for dogs, but I want to go and use the Facebook algorithm to find more people that are look alike to the list that I have. And Facebook will basically look for them within the Facebook algorithm. Remember the 1.7 billion Facebook users that I was talking about? Facebook will actually create a, a lookalike audience, a lookalike audience, you can create several, and I'm not going to go in detail, so we can basically focus on this fact, is the fact that you can create uh, mi millions on, in an audience, basically through our lookalike audiences. So again, what's a lookalike audience? It's a, an audience which is lookalike from something that you know it's working and something that you currently have as a, a segmented audience, okay? So, um, and number three, and number five, the one that I like uh, the most, okay? Facebook, it's an amazing platform. I've been running it for many, many, many years now. And something that I can tell is that they're always looking for different advertising placements, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, back in the day when we started, we only had Facebook newsfeed. And now we have Instagram, we have Instagram stories, we have now Facebook stories, we can use videos, uh, we can use uh, images, we can use carousel ads, we can use the Facebook marketplace. So it's 
it, there's a sea of options whenever you're using Facebook ads. So that's why I really like to use it because there are different placements for a specific, uh, let's say tasks or processes or retargetings that you will be making to your audiences. Let me just set up an example. Personally, I love to run video ads. Why? Because of the fact that I can create custom audiences and look like audiences, but how do, how do I start? Targeting interests, behaviors, and demographics. So once I have custom audiences, I can segment and I can remarket to people who have really seen or have an interest on my ad, and then I will send them another ad just following up on them. For example, if um, I sent you guys a video for a service that I was selling to you guys specifically, let's say, uh, let's use this, the same example, website services. And then if you saw uh, more than 50% of my video, I will basically uh, know that you have a really serious interest in what I just showed you, right? So then I'll just create a quick video and I'll just say something like, I know, you, uh, I know you're interested with our services, but you still haven't taken any further action. Why? Let me give you one good reason why you should hire me in order to help you grow your business. So basically what you're doing, it's actually creating a story and you're doing a sequence of events psychologically on the Facebook user that you're used, that you're paying traffic for in order to be able to get more traction and conversion. So this is just like one really good tip. Just try to use storytelling whenever you're using Facebook advertising. This is hands down the best, let's say, strategy that I can give you guys, the best tip, the best golden nugget that I can give you guys today, because that basically changed the game for myself, for my team, and for the people that I work for, and the people that I work with, because we're going deep. We're just not being those lazy marketers that we're just, you know, launching any random campaign just because we think we can make a profit, right? We really want to make sure that we're giving the most value and we give the best service. And how do we do that? By going psychologically on our avatar's uh, mind, which is something that Sebastian already talked about in previous trainings. So if you still don't understand what an avatar is, just please go to that training. But most importantly, if you have any questions or if you're interested in basically how and why I'm telling you why you should run Facebook ads, it's because I've done it. And I don't want to brag, you know, like how much we've done, but basically we know what is capable of Facebook doing if we do it the right way. So if you guys are really interested and you guys have questions, please don't hesitate and go to sebastiangomezmentoring.com. We're gonna be there to help you out and find uh, common solutions on how can we help you right now in this current situation to achieve your goals, guys. So that's just like a really short training that I just wanted to give you guys. But basically, these are the, the five uh, most important things that I really believe in. Just like a quick recap so we can close this up. Why do I say Facebook for me, it's the best way to start with traffic? Number one, it's the biggest social media platform out there. It has 1.7 billion active users and 74% use it daily, okay? Number two, you can leverage Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and other third-party apps. Basically, just focus on these three, but you have multiple applications that you can use in the same place, in the business manager, right? So you don't have to be using one application for Instagram, one application for Facebook, one application for Messenger, one for WhatsApp, and one for the third-party apps. Everything is together and built in into one, okay? Targeting, you can use interests, behaviors, and demographics, which are really broad that will allow you to start getting out there and looking for those segments within your audience and based on the offers you crafted, right? And custom audiences and lookalike audiences, which is basically for me, I just love it. This rev like rev revolutionized <laughs> basically my marketing and the way that I run ads because this has allowed me to show the right ad to the right people in the right time, okay? And we can use multiple advertising placements, which is something that I love based on the storytelling marketing that I'm trying to uh, break down and I'm gonna keep breaking down in the following trainings. But this is just like a little simple review on why I really think that you should get started on Facebook ads through traffic, guys. So I really hope you guys found this uh, lesson valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to basically ask uh, right there your questions and I'll be more than happy to help you out, guys. So thank you so much for the training. All right, we have a question here. Okay. Uh, hey Fabian, would you recommend some affiliate marketing to do in time of quarantine? 
Uh, yeah, of course. Like affiliate marketing right now, it's and, and we, like we were talking about, we really want to you know focus uh, this specific training and affiliate marketing and how can we sell our service into a profit, right? So affiliate marketing, it's you know really right now, it's great to to for example, if you don't have uh, a Shopify store or you're you know getting started, affiliate marketing, it's one solid good way to start making your money on Facebook. Do we have any other question? Uh, I don't think we have any more questions at the moment. Okay, boom. So I feel happy. So if we don't have any questions, uh, it really means that I did a okay job. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you. And it's been a pleasure. And see you tomorrow in the next training. Bye-bye, guys. Pura vida.